welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Seven, right here on the Corona Cast, and I'm Michael Mandel, right here on the Kaiser Soze. Both of those words were spelled from uh, two different variations, and they took parts of each variation. Yes, Mark, you're an avid m movie goer. Yes. Does Kaiser Soze mean anything to you? Well, if you're if you're familiar with that movie that Kevin Spacey was in, what movie was that? That was called. What is it called? Uh, the Usual, Usual Suspects. Suspects. And even it's though great film. Kevin Spacey's uh, basic <clears throat> reputation <throat> is shot, that movie is an icon. Uh, yeah, the is. thing about Kaiser Soze is Kevin Spacey was a criminal taken in and was being interviewed by the cops. All the answers that he gave them, I shouldn't give this away, but everybody should have seen so it. So no, don't, tell, don't tell them. Okay, I won't tell you. Don't Anyhow, tell them. so I, this is named Kaiser Soze basically because... Uh, this is Suze. But you know what? I think I think he won his first uh, Academy Award as Best Supporting Actor yeah. in that movie, that might be The right. Usual Suspect. Yes. Anyway, Suze, our friend Beth, said, let's uh, have our usual drinks on New Year's on uh, Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. So I know what she has in her larder, and I know she's a, a big fan of Suze, which is a gentian uh, aperitif. Uh, so I looked up all the things that have Suze in them. There's three of them. One of them is Kaiser Suze, and it's great because it's got gin and cognac, which we used the week before, or two weeks before, making a drink, and this really gives us a sense of what's going on. Well, that, Mike, that, re that reminds me. This is our first recorded show of the new year. Oh, my gosh. Of the new decade. Anything new happened this week? <laughs> no, oh, we'll, get we'll get into, into that. that. Don't you we'll worry. get into that. Let's drink this first. So I just put in three quarters. Of, everything's three quarters of an ounce of something here. It's three quarters of an ounce of uh, fresh lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of almost any type of uh, gin. Beef eater <coughs> is a good classic. It's a good London dry gin. Yes. We tried this the other day with some more flavorful one, but that could screw up everything. And if you ever so, go to London, you will see the actual beef eaters in action. That's true. Or if you look in uh, any... You can't go there now because the, the uh, pandemic is raging there. Almost Gosh. as bad as it is here. So I'm going to have to give my tickets back. Uh, this is Sousa, which is one of those... I was thinking about all the weird things, like drinks, like, you know, in a way, Campari is a weird thing. Most people know things like gin, vodka, bourbon, and tonic water. So, or so, so Moscow okay. mules. Now, gen, it's got gentian in it. Yes. Gentian is just what another the hell is herb. Gentian is like wormwood. You know, it, wormwood's actually the word vermouth comes from the German of wormwood. But where does gentian come from? And what is it? It's a plant. Where does beef eater come from? They I know. I know where beef eaters come from. Oh, yeah. I, I once I, shook one's hand. You're not allowed to. <laughs> In jolly old England. You're not allowed to. Yes, you are. So we have, we have the beef eater gin, Sousa uh, aperitif. The interesting thing is the cognac. We did the uh, Hanukkah cocktail with cognac and potato vodka. So mixing cognac with white alcohol so is potato. kind of a fun thing to do. Um, are we doing equal parts? We're doing equal parts, three quarters of an ounce of each of those, half an ounce of a simple syrup. And okay. this is a oh, this is a not so simple syrup. Less is best with that kind of thing, Michael. Well, you know that. This is huh? Oh, that's lavender. This is lavender. Lavender simple syrup. Lavender. We Still, do. I'm thinking less is best. Somebody, oh, the same person who told me about kombucha said, "Why don't you ever use lavender?" And so I bought this lavender simple <laughs> syrup, and you know what? It's really good. It's got to be better than regular simple syrup. Yes, it is because it's got lavender, it's not and simple. we all know how healthy lavender is. I hope. And fragrant. And fragrant. So we do that. We have a bunch of ice in here, as you all know. Hopefully everybody had decent New Year's, made it through it. Happy and New Year to everybody. Everybody we know who was sick or is sick. Hope you're <clears> feeling <throat> better. Once you feel really good, you could, you could have drinks again, right? Drinks will cure you. Yes, especially one with, especially the Kaiser Soze. It's got lavender. It's got lavender, and it's got, and it's got, it's got gentian. Gentian's got to be good for something, because, you know, you, know, you, and, and, you and, don't put it in. Oh, look at that color. And gin has juniper berries. Juniper is good if you're allergic to juniper. Nice color. Good, interesting color. There's a, almost a texture there. You can have it. 
I love this color. I guess that's what, from it's the. Uh, tan, the it's from the cognac. Oh, it's the Sue's. The two of them mixed. Cognac. We clink on our clink. barrier. Wow. Interesting. Not bad at all. This is crazy, isn't it? I like it a lot. Mm. I could drink this all day. It's a good thing the show was only half an hour long. That's true. The next half hour, we're gonna, or the next quarter hour, we're going to substitute Campari for Sousa, which they're both sort of bittersweet. <clears throat> That'll be interesting. And you use Campari most of the time because I know you make Negronis all day long. <laughs> I know I do. You know what? I've already decided <clears throat> that I like this one better than I will like that one. Okay. Well, that gentian has quite a hit. <laughs> There's a number of aperitifs that are gentian-based. Sure. Sailors, and I think maybe Strega has a lot of uh, gentian. Now, can you buy this in stores? No, you have to steal it off uh, vendors who come around your neighborhood. Uh, I think probably uh, maybe Kelly's me. hasn't been bad in getting things. I, I don't think they it. have it at Toucan, but certainly once if you can well, sneak in, go to El Paso you anymore. can sneak into El Paso. No. You can sneak into El Paso go and go to Specs. You don't just you dare. go to Specs, huh? Don't you dare. You go to Specs. You have to quarantine for two weeks if you do. Well, if you buy enough alcohol, what's the problem? <laughs> you could do that. You could. Do <clears throat> oh, did you have some uh, uh, little topics you want to talk about? What's this? Well, coupe. You know the, the, Was <laughs> I supposed to use a coupe glass for this? I don't remember. Well, Was this it? week we experienced a, a coup d'etat uh, attempt. Uh, <clears throat> it was so poorly disorganized. Do tell. It was Trump was in charge. That and nothing. You know, they did some damage uh, on the Capitol building. And <clears throat> what was the point of it? To um, the, to keep the election from being verified. To um, look at your notes, because well, it hasn't been on TV all day, yesterday, today. To make a mockery out of, de out of out of democracy, basically, is what uh, the, the thing was about. That's a good line. Make a mockery of democracy. Of democracy. Yes. Um, Did you make that line up? They. Uh, it, it was a failure, like Trump's office. And they, but they did 5,000, well, there's five dead and thousands of dollars in damage. And, uh, well, the fifth one hasn't died yet, but it's only yeah, a matter of time. Five people were injured. And uh, so and far. Also, it, it made all the people, senators and the representatives have to stay up past their bedtime. <laughs> That's true. They did. To, they to were finish cranky. The job they were really cranky. Of, of counting the, uh, the votes. Uh, or verifying the votes. Verifying Over 100 votes. lawmakers um, have called for Trump's removal uh, per the 25th Amendment. At this point, which is end of the week. And if the uh, GOP doesn't uh, shun Trump, as they should, then they're just as guilty as he is, really. Are you pointing a finger? Well, members of Congress, Congress members. who obstructed the certification process uh, should be impeached, including uh, Yvette Harrell of District 2 in New Mexico. Well, you know, that's not going to happen, Marky. Now, the people who fomented this coup attempt, Trump, Giuliani, Mike Flynn, and the others, uh, had made this country look like, a, like a, some sort of a third world country. Do you think they, you know what they, they would do? masterminded it? I think he was just going off his emotion. You he, know how he, he gets. He told them to do it, and they did it. Giuliani said, go there armed, and they did. Uh, you know, in third world countries, they just line those people up against the wall, and that's the end of them. Well, that's what they want this to be, a third world country. It makes it easier to govern. Well, and sometimes it's easier to govern by trickery. Well, I think that the people should, uh, who did foment this, they should be indicted and sent to Guantanamo, where they can uh, await their... their See, you're, uh, you're making up punishments just as a dictator would make up punishments. No, they should you go, should no. see the... Nobody gets sent to Guantanamo to be an, if you're an American... Oh, well, anyway, I mean, they tried to overthrow this country, so they should go to Guantanamo to await their trial in three to six years. Cuba is a lovely place when the season's right and there's no hurricane. So why do you want to send them to Guantanamo? That's there where are they places belong. in the United States. After You're they, making up things, which is fine for We own Guantanamo me. Bay, Michael. What? We own Guantanamo, and that's where we have all those prisoners that have been there for 20 years, still waiting those their Those are political trial. prisoners from other countries. They're from other countries. Yeah, well, They're we, not from our country. Doesn't People matter. from our country doesn't matter. get held in our country. But it's I just think, like, say, Guantanamo. Because that's where they belong. Well, I'm glad you're not the president. After the events on Wednesday, though, I think the GOP has dug their own grave, and it's time yeah. for them to lie in it and let Trump cover it yeah. up. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Since, you know, since Trump is the Republican Party.
Mm, mm. And he can live out his life in prison for his crimes. He'll probably be the first ex-president to go to prison after his indictments for all his crimes. Oh, you know, I well, don't know. Yeah, no. That's a pipe dream. Trump's, be, Trump's behaving like a beauty. Trump's behaving like a beauty queen contestant who will not give up his tiara. <laughs> and you've seen that before. Meanwhile, beauty queens would not do that. They have more. They usually win the award for being the most polite. Yeah, they're better also. behaved. That's, yeah. that's for sure. Meanwhile, 30 million people in America don't have enough to eat. Who are they? What are their names? <laughs> you mean there's a problem in America for people getting food and money? There is money? a problem. There's lines and lines of cars and people waiting in lines just to get something to eat. We've seen the pictures. We have the pictures. They're, they're here. They line up here for the yeah, for they're the in here. Film. They're in uh, El Paso. I mean, we basically get El Paso TV, so we see them in El Paso. Sometimes they come here to shoot pictures. <clears throat> well, but we know I mean, a lot of people giving out. People food. are out of work. They don't have money for food, or they have to choose between food, uh, rent, uh, medicine, and uh, uh, the children. And which type of so they get free food? Drink. They will. It's a good idea. We know people who get free food. <laughs> it's true. Sometimes, you know, free food, sometimes free food is okay. Sometimes it's depends, sort of at the, the bottom. Depends on the quality of the food. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're as picky as uh, some are, Who? You, may, <laughs> you may not want the free food that they're offering, So since but it's you, there. You only like organic food and you don't like high fructose syrup. So if somebody gives you stuff with that, you pick out the high fructose syrup, right? You can yeah. just pull it out. You know, when I go to when I go to uh, that place on, on, on no that that fast food joint on Telshore that sells the chicken uh, chicken uh, oh, tenders. Oh, you mean Canes? Canes, right? They always ask me if I like ketchup with that. I like ketchup. I we say, discussed this yesterday. I say no, not your ketchup, because it's got high fructose corn syrup. It's Heinz. Did you ever taste less low fructose corn syrup? It's the only kind I get. It's inferior. It's the only kind I get is low fructose. <laughs> Zero fructose. It's fine. It's just fine. But then it just tastes like tomatoes. It's sweetened with honey. With salt. Honey? Yes. Honey? It's honey. naturally sweetened or with fruit juice. You know, you grew up on Heinz ketchup, right? <clears throat> Heinz, Hunts, all that. Not Hunts. Hunts is third tier, I guess. I, but I think growing up, they didn't have the high fructose then. They hadn't developed it yet. Oh, they're still using plain sugar? <clears throat> yes, plain oh. sugar. You're making so me so hungry. So I grew up addicted to sugar. You're making me hungry. Can I get a hamburger? Sugar will make you hungry. Waiter. Cheeseburger. Waiter, can I get a hamburger? Cheeseburger. And mm. give me some low fructose corn syrup with that on the side. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Well, you know, <laughs> before we go to break, we can't, oh, go, to, we can't go to break without mentioning the COVID-19 mention virus. Right? It's new to me. And <clears throat> we're, in, in 20, we're in 2021 already. My yeah, so God. we're approaching 400,000 dead Americans from the virus. Well, that's more than 9-11. Why that's more than Vietnam? Why well, that's more than World War I? More than Afghanistan? Yeah. That's like um, six to eight jumbo jets fully loaded, crashing every day. <laughs> that's dangerous. That's true. But they don't do that. You know, and you think if that was happening, something would be done. Well, but, but uh, we this have, administration we have has thing, done nothing. It's a very large problem. Somebody in a very large position should be able to take care of it. Them? Our phone number's ringing. Oh. You have a vaccine? Yeah. You have a vaccine? I'll call up for your vaccine. <clears throat> we'll do that. He's, he's giving us a break. We'll come back and tell you where to get your vaccine reservations after these words. And if you can't vaccinate, cognac aid. Inebriate. Yes. <laughs> have some of that. Beautiful bottle. Thank you, Dave Zima. us on channel 98 keep watching because we have so much in store for you we want to grow together your channel local and real
If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with the doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. We are. We're not back yet, but now we are. We're back now. This is I, Double I Talk. Too. Uh, you, you don't have to coach Dave on what comes after three. But. Michael, please, we're on. Oh. Welcome back, <laughs> Michael and Mark, on the Corona Cast here on the Las Cruces channel. It's just like, it feels like just yesterday we just talked to these people. We're going to do the, sec- the variation on the drink, the Kaiser Sose. Yes, Kaiser Sose. And uh, Mark liked the first one. He doesn't <laughs> think he's going to like this one as much. As much. So we'll see. So we're doing the three quarters of an ounce. You know, it seems like teeny bits, three quarters. It adds up. Same amount of gin. Those of you who make uh, Negronis know that pretty much the simplest drink in the world, it's one ounce of three of your ingredients, which That's is... Right. And we're, we're Negroni fools on this show. I don't know how, how many times have we made Negronis, Michael, on this we've show? We've done Negronis galore. Every year we try we to celebrate, celebrate Negroni, Negroni month, month. Which is June. Yes. And my wife loves Negronis, so there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> there are so many variations. One of the variations of a Negroni is gin, Sousa, and Lillet. And it's Ooh, really good. I bet I like that better, even. Maybe. Now, are you going to put the same amount of Campari? Yes. As everything else, like a Negroni. Did I just put Susan? Yes. Uh-oh. You did put Susan. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to. Oh, you're supposed to put that. I'm supposed to put that. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. I'll put a little half in there. We can taste this and then we'll add taste that. that. Yeah, that's going to be like, you know, we'll get blasted. These things we are experiment all 40% these drinks, percent alcohol. We do these experiments as a public service for you. A little less. Yeah, we're So we're you don't have to make the same mistakes ourselves. we make. That's because we're... <laughs> this smells great. This is... Uh, what did we say it was? Kelt? Cognac. It's, a, it's called a Kelt Cognac Commodore. Kelt. Is it is Kelt. Like, like as an Irish? And uh, I think we should put, we need a little a simple minute. syrup. You sure about that? It's a little, maybe a quarter ounce of simple okay. syrup. Okay. Michael's the mix master. You know, so, I, I'm powerless. If you didn't hear me say Dave Zemont at the end of last uh, half of the show, Zemont gave me this uh, and his wife. Gave me this bottle for Thanks. I Thank can't you. remember what Hanukkah or my birthday, one or the others. They're, they're, they're so about the same similar. time, aren't they? Yes, they are. We've had a rash of holidays recently, haven't we? Something Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. We should put some calamine lotion on the grass. Yes. There's calamine lotion in here. Yes. All right, then we're fine. This should be exciting. I'm excited already. Just the sound of rocks knocking together. <laughs> Absolutely. Color. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man, the it's Campari a, really did a good job at with an orangey it. tinge. And... That, thanks to the Campari, of course. You know, that's why you have to be on TV to try these things, because if, if you yeah. do this at home, you're drunk. And we have fresh lime juice. Did you, did you mention lemon, that? Lemon, lemon. Lemon juice lemon, was the first thing. correct, sir. Mm. You can see the little lemony things in here. Okay, it's better than I expected. And I think it's the lime juice that did it. No, no. It, it's no, it's the same amount. Less lime juice. Campari fights the gentian a little bit. 
Yeah, but the, the lemon juice fights the sweetness of the, of the Campari. Yeah, but the gentian, and the, the gentian and simple Campari, syrup. I think, is pretty good. So oh, I was, I it was a simple syrup, syrup that was, had me scared. Mm. But the lemon juice, I think, cuts that very nicely. You can taste, you know, in the back of your throat, you can feel gentian. Yes. When, how many times have you ever felt gentian? Have you ever felt gentian in the back of your throat? <clears throat> no. I, I felt very few things in the back of my throat. <laughs> well, you got to go after bigger guys. <laughs> Who said that? But that's that? tasty. Who said that? Oh, national rate. Oh, this is exciting stuff here. Well. Na na go <clears throat> for it. This is one of your favorite topics. <clears throat> the month of January is... National Radon Action Month. You know what radon is? Uh, a tradon? It's tradon? Radon? It's radon. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chemical that's it's in a the gas, soil. And it's uh, radioactive. Radon, radioactive gas that occurs naturally in soils. Have you tested your yeah. houses here? I think we did. And it, it occurs in a lot of ba uh, ba uh, basements, actually. Yeah, in fact, there was a guy going into work at a nuclear plant. Who caught radon. Right? No, they go through a, a detecting advice oh. every day to make sure they haven't been uh, overexposed. And he kept sending the, the siren off. Because he lived in a radon thing? Because he was exposed to radon at home. Oh, yeah? So he went and got his house tested, and sure enough, high levels of radon. So, so they fire you because of that? <laughs> no. <clears throat> but he had to have his house what? retrofitted. So the radon could not get into that. Oh, house. you have to coat it with anti-radon. Yeah. Well, there's, there's um, you know, certified uh, people that come into your house. They seal off. They're radon yeah, exterminators. Where radon can get in. Yes. That's pretty bad. Of and course, he died shortly after, <clears throat> so we don't know what really happened. And, oh. uh, <laughs> of course, and, oh, you shouldn't oh. confuse radon with Tommy Chong's daughter, Radon Chong. Radon. Yeah. The actress it's spelled slightly differently. Oh, it's spelled slightly different. R A E. But if you want to uh, Ray, find out Tommy about radon, what, what, how to uh, <clears throat> the National the Radon Action is the Indoor Radon Outreach Coordinator can right be there. contacted, right at 505-476-8608. I am sitting here waiting for your call. The first caller gets one of these drinks. So let me hear. Now call, you can you can call. I, no, they will calling? send you a, uh, a radon testing kit. I have done that. Which, which it is easy. Yes, and I think it's like twenty-five dollars, which includes the test, the, the the price of the kit, as well as sending it off to the lab to have <clears throat> it tested. And they give you a free uh, COVID vaccine. Vaccine. You wish. The COVID. They give you free co uh, COVID vaccines with that. It's twenty-five bucks. Nobody pays for vaccines. It's government subsidized. That's true, it is. Now, uh... Burger time. I, that's a better topic. You know, we need fun topics. I don't know what that is. But... Swirl? <laughs> We're having... Okay. That, that clarifies everything. Smile less. You should taste the drink. Then you'd oh. smile. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bur Burger it, Time. It, which is called It's Burger Time. It's Burger Time paper. Restaurants. At one time, supposedly, there were 11 of them. I have that. Yes, the guy. find that hard guy to believe. Owned, well, you lived here all your life, so. Well, I went, you, to, I went to high school with Kevin McGrath, who owned the Burger Time chain. But I, I didn't know him, but I did uh, know his daughter. No, his daughter. His sister. His sister. His sister and I did a theater together. And she had gorgeous red hair. Oh. And I, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was great. I loved her a lot. Did she give you free burgers? She didn't work there. She didn't work there. In fact, but you can get this is from high school. Dead. This you is high school. Your he didn't yeah. have the things yet. He probably had his thing. But uh, I think there were like two of them left in town, There's and now one. they're both closed. Yeah. Uh, partially, probably, because the business was so bad due to the virus. Although they did have a drive up window. They did have a drive up window. First of all, if they had 11 at one time, and they were down to two before the virus, Things weren't going so well. Right. I, you know, I think it could, he didn't want to do the, all that work for one store. That I don't well, know. you know, the food wasn't as good as it used to be either. I got to say. I used to go there Kevin. for burritos. They had good burritos. Yeah, I used to get the enchiladas, but um, that was 20 years ago. But back it, when it was you good. You better eat it now, because it might <laughs> get bad. So, so, Greg Smith. Yes. Greg Z Smith. Who's been on the show? 
Yes. Friend and, of the show. And uh, he's now the uh, president. No, he's not the president. He's the executive director of the Doniana Arts Council. Yeah. Has announced that this is Year of the Arts. He's, he's showing our new office, which is on Amador and Alameda. And, Alameda. Now, and it used to be a bank building, so if it yeah. looks like a bank building, you're in the right place. <clears throat> yes. You're right across the street from the old oh. the courthouse yes. and jail. And this is actually the 50th year of the Doniana Arts Council, and uh, we're be, we'll be doing the 50th uh, Renaissance Fair. This virtually fall. or not? Hopefully, we did this uh, 49th virtually, just so that we could call this the 50th. Yes. So we did have one, and uh, we are doing other things. Uh, that's a very big building, and it serves well as an art gallery. Yes. And a happened. center for people taking. We're doing virtual art classes, which are really good. That's good. So now the fact that they call it the Council. Year of the Arts, it's the Arts Council. Why isn't all year, every year, the year of the arts when it comes to the Arts Council? Well, there's certainly a point in time where we shouldn't listen to you, Mark. Why? <laughs> because because I'm right. Every year is... I mean, let's not be, get every redundant. Year is it's important. the Arts Council. You know, you could say uh, 2000 was like a year like any other year. But this is declared the year of the arts because we need arts to bail us out of the deaths. You know, the depths and death of COVID. And what and is the Arts Council? to use art to get Let's us see. out of there. And what is the Arts Council prepared to do in within the year of the arts? We're giving to help you artists. free vaccines against watercolors. You know, watercolors. Not acrylics? You don't want to do watercolors because they bleed a lot. So that's why it's better to do acrylics. I see. Okay. Anyway, so it's the year of the arts, and uh, we'll be doing things with the Donana Arts Council. Maybe we'll even get Greg on here, you know, when I've decided to take a vacation. Would you please? Yeah. What kind <clears> of things <throat> does he have? So now, Christmas tree recycling is going on right now. <clears throat> and do you have a Christmas tree? Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't have, have a Christmas tree. No, you never throw out your Hanukkah candle menorah. Your Hanukkah bush? You know, okay. We have menorahs. Jews can't afford to throw anything out. We use everything. Well, you got a tree, you replant it, for God's sake. Those sakes. of you guys who had Christmas trees, uh, you can recycle them. Don't just throw them out, you can recycle them. Take, Take them out to the uh, landfill on Sonoma, or at Sonoma Ranch Boulevard, just south of Loman, and drop them off there. No, no flocked trees, though. Whatever that means. Just I Christmas no trees. Flock. There might be a little bit of tinsel hanging on to it, that's flo okay. Flocked is a Gentile no word for that's being... stuff they the spray on to make it look like snow. Oh, we don't I, want that. Anyway, or you can put it in front of your house and the grappler will pick it up. That's true. And do whatever it does with it. So that's good. Also, um, Tanya Roberts, the actress, has died. Just many of to you that. don't remember her, probably. I barely do. Yes. Yes, and uh, she was on Charlie's Angels the final and year. And she was on... Uh, the 70s show. Which is what I remember. And a few movies. So, anyway, I guess we're out of time, folks. Yeah, the bells are ringing. This was a good ringing. cocktail. So, those of you who think this, this is good, go for your gin, your, your cognac, and something like Sousa or even Campari. I'm gonna try that. And hopefully Trump can't divide this nation any more than he already has, but he can yes. still do more damage. Hello. Happy double talk. That's good. That's good.